Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Workers of Resources. Welcome back to Charlabinsk. Hope you're having a great day today. We have uh, progress being done on the radio station. It's got a lot of work left to do, but we've delivered over 200 tons of steel here. So, you know, it's about half done. We're going to keep cranking on this. So, we'll check back in with it later. We're going to keep getting new housing up. We have capacity for a lot of people now. With these two houses getting close to finished, this one completely done and empty. So that's great. You know, these are not completely full. And, uh, you know, we have people saying they don't have a job or whatever. I'll just tell them to go wherever they want. Uh, yeah, I can just tell these guys to kind of go wherever they want. Right, let's just do that. So what we're going to focus on today is it's the fact that we have extra people and that we're going to probably have capacity now for roughly 8,000 people, which is a pretty good number for the industries that we have. We could be better, but it's, it's okay for what we have. But our consumption is going to go up by like 40% from where we are now, if we fill all these houses. And so we don't have what it takes yet to go after steel. But what I would like to go after is an industry that in the past I've kind of said is not really necessary, okay? In the past, I've had monologues about meat and why I don't think it's worth setting up. I think it's better to just buy it. It's because the manpower associated with it and all the other things that you could do when you're using in your republic, I still think, you know, there's a the case to be made that it's, this is not true. But for me and maybe my play style or how I like to organize things, buying meat from the border indefinitely just usually had made sense to me. That's because I haven't really gotten to the end game where I had plenty of space left over and I had every single industry conquered. I've never gotten to that far. So for sure, there's a case to be made that maybe meat first is going to work. What I'd like to do in this series, though, is debunk myself by setting up meat production. Okay, so you see all these crops right here. Each one of these fields is going to produce about 400 tons of crops per year. They're at 150% fertility, which is great because 100% is what you used to get uh, before the update. So this is very nice. Right, we're gonna get lots of crops here, about six thousand tons, right here, which is great. Downside of that, six thousand tons of crops is enough to feed one livestock farm, just one, and only this, exclusively this, for a year. Okay, that's a problem because <laughs> this tiny little building wants all these nummy nums. Okay. And the reason for that is because, of course, livestock is incredibly expensive. We're going to need 20 tons of crops per day to make 10 tons of livestock per day. Well, if we want to fully saturate the slaughterhouse, and we don't need to, but if we want to fully saturate the slaughterhouse, we're going to need 150 tons of livestock every day, which means I need 15 of these things. Practically 16 of them, just because they're never going to run at 100%. So 16 livestock farms, right? So what I want to do today is set up the plans anyway, for what 16 livestock farms could look like. And we're going to put it right over here near this farm. Okay. That's what this farm area and the, the train pickup and all that's going to be do. Okay. We obviously have the crop train and the big farm. That's going to be rocking a whole bunch of fields over here. That stuff's all going to be, I haven't decided if it's going to be here or if it's going to be over here. Since uranium is here, I probably want it to be maybe like right here. And then we're going to just like surround the you know, the area. <laughs> Try to stay away from the uranium. So over here, I think what I want to do is we're going to take this road, bring this around like this. Okay. So we have this road out. Now what I'd like to do is organize. Let's start with uh, eight. Okay. We'll get like half of it done. And then if we need to expand from there, we can always add on a similar design. We're going to be working with a couple of different buildings for this. There's a livestock farm, of course. It takes a lot of water. A lot of water. Now, that 12 cubic meters doesn't sound like a lot, but now times that by 16, and that's what you need to saturate this building, okay? Now, all of a sudden, you've went from, ah, 12's not so bad, to having a well that is exclusively providing your livestock farms. It can get quite expensive. The big one, by the way, is what's needed to, to do all of those. It's, it's, it gets crazy, okay? <laughs> so, um, what I want to do is we're going to set up a design that I think will work okay. I've only done it in my head, so I'm kind of doing it with you guys. 
So what I'd like to do is we'll start with maybe it being right about here, let's say. This is probably okay. Um, then we're going to flip this over. And we're going to place this one, let's say, right up against this. We'll go here. Flip it. And I'm, I'm going to need to reposition these. I already know it. But I'm just kind of giving you a basic idea of what we're up against or what we're doing. Uh, then I'll sort this and maybe put you about here. Okay. So we'll say that this is like the start of this. Now, why not just put them in a giant row? Because you need workers in every single one of these. So the points in which workers are dropped off, they need to be able to walk to all of them. If I put them in a time in a large row, they may not be able to get to every building. But the main reason I do this is because of how the livestock haul and range is designed. So this is a place, a big stable, where it can hold up to 225 tons of livestock. And because of the way these connectors are designed, you kind of need it to be about like that. So we're going to place this design about here. And then I'm going to tweak it after that. So we're going to say that you're here. And I think I want to tweak this. So this one isn't so long, if I can get away with it not being so long. So why don't I... I could maybe just have it be along the same roadway, right? I could say, do it about like this. It'd be pretty space efficient, I think. I need a little, enough room for the walking path, so let's do that. And then the walking path would go up and over top of this. So that's our basic setup for livestock farms and the hall. All right, and then that hall and range needs to be connected to the roads. So we'll have roads coming out that way. Uh, and then what I want to do with this design is we're going to take we're going to take it like this. We're going to clone this area right here. Okay, this whole thing gets cloned and we're just going to place it. I think could I could I mirror it? Oh man, mirroring this would be kind of cool. I think because it would uh Yeah, I should probably mirror this. You know what? Let me do that. I'll be right back. All right. So let's see if this is good enough. And because I mirrored it, I have to mirror this one too. So we should see Connections about like that. Yeah, so let's put this in right about like here. I always need to move this last one just because it's a different design. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say that we want to go. Uh, no, we, we flip it this way. All right. Why do you keep there it goes? Sorry. <laughs> I got disoriented there. Uh, right about like this. Yep. Straight across from here would be about there. So I think that is a fair approximation of what a half of our livestock farm could be all right and then the roads for this would just be oh we'll make it gravel as in the plans for now it could be straight across like this and then i think though what i want to do is put a bus stop in and i think the bus stop put a free one in for now I think the bus stop is going to be right about here all right now what we want to do with this bus stop it's directly lined up with this for a reason so you're gonna come straight this way you're gonna come straight this way it gives us adequate spacing to place electrical and anything else we want to put here but it also gives me spacing to have a, a quick little bypass right through here so i'm gonna take this little road and we'll hit f4 here to kind of get it to curve there we go and what i want to do is bring this around kind of like this all right so just like a little a little bypass around the bus stop and we're just gonna kind of take a little off the top here because it's not really all that smooth i don't want it to be a little smoother there we go and then right about like so it's not perfectly centered i'm not sure that matters you know what it might matter let's let's just kind of design it a little bit better than this all right there we go. So maybe it's something like that. All right, that's that's better. It's not quite great, but it's better. And then you are going to come straight through the middle here, and then these two will connect, all right? And then you will connect on the road there. We have these all connecting on these roadways, okay? At the moment, I think I'm just going to have that be, yes, we mark it, but we're not going to build it yet. And then all these things can get connected to the roads. Here, 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 here. So everything is connected to the roadways. Very good. Okay. If we want more meat... We simply replicate this design immediately on the other side of it, and that should allow everyone who gets off at this bus stop to reach every single building that's part of this chain. The second part of this chain, though, is getting the livestock into the slaughterhouse. Well, 
what we need is a couple of different livestock overflows. Uh, where is it? <laughs> uh, these halls or ranges, right? I want a couple of these all connected to this slaughterhouse. Now, the slaughterhouse has two uh, of these factory connections. I wish it had three, but it only has two. So it's going to connect to the overflow and then also to a train. So we're going to say that the slaughterhouse goes, uh, you know, I'm starting to think that this, what's the distance on this? Let me, let me see this design really quick. So the distance from here to here is 204 meters. So I would want to go about 204, say 212 to make it safe. So I'd want to go at least this far away because that would be the repeat of this design. And then from that point to the bus stop is easy to walk. So we're looking at a line that's about here. Don't cross that line, basically. All right. Kind of maybe spread it out a little bit more, let's say. Don't cross that line. Okay. So since we're not crossing that line, to leave it open, uh, we want to get livestock farms. And I'm thinking we could use the forklifts for this potentially but maybe one overflow is really all we need we're gonna want a road that comes through here and we're gonna say that the haul livestock range etc goes let's put it on this side we'll say about here with it and then the slaughterhouse is gonna go uh I'll flip this over Ooh, maybe not uh, the thing is, you need to be able to reach it from the bus stop. They need you close enough for the bus stop, but also close enough for the factory connection to the, to the train. How about right here? I know this is kind of breaking my don't cross this line rule, but only barely. And I did give myself extra distance, I think. So we're going to cross this line right about here. Just as long as this will go forward. It will. Okay. So that'll be where the slaughterhouse is going to be. All right. With that done, we then need to talk about the train. Okay. Train is an important part of this because the train is going to be moving the meat. This is connected to the distribution office, train distribution for everything, right? It's all designed to work with train distribution. First step to getting this to happen is I need to move this further back. So because we have the pipe pressure, not seeing not seeing a lot of fuel happening here we got 42 people in here now maybe it'll be better um seeing pretty good money though isn't it yeah it's nice uh, so we have uh the pipe pressure now right so if i look at this the underground pipes what i think i'd like to have happen is to have this tank here i was gonna have to use the pump and i was i was saying earlier that may i use the wrong one i didn't want the merger i wanted well, okay, so I was going to go off of this and then go that way. But actually, because of that pipe pressure, I can almost reach this. Like, it's very close to just straight up reaching it without the pump. And that's perfect because this needs to draw directly from a tank. All right? So, we're going to want to do, to do that. It needs to draw directly from a tank because and directly into a tank as well because if we're using it with the distribution office they need to empty into a an actual vassal they don't want to empty into a conveyor belt they don't want to empty or a conveyor engine they don't want to empty into a pump okay the distribution office is a little picky on which one it will use so you need it directly connected to storage so real easy this was only a partial plan anyway we're just going to take this building find the unloading and loading right here and then uh we're just gonna scoot it back so it's gonna be about here now right about here and what i'm hoping happens with this obviously these two things will go away eventually at least this will in fact it can go away now because it's kind of a waste anyway so just kind of dump that and get it out of the way and we'll go ahead and reset this to be like that so with this rail heading this direction okay it's going to go around this way, over top of this, etc. And it goes out. And then eventually it will go over top of the crop train. Because the crop train is completely separate, right? It's a very long train. It has its own dedicated purposes. It's going to be doing its own thing. We don't want it to be interfering with the distribution network. So 
crop train is going to be doing its own thing. And uh, so there's going to be a train track that comes around through here over top of this. Not even going to make the junction. Just over top of it or under it. I don't really care. Uh, I might do the thing that I've seen. I've seen another YouTuber do this. Um, B. Baljo gave me a shout out, so I'm going to give him one too. Uh, I've seen him do this. I don't know if other people do it too, but you, you, they raise the terrain and then the bridges end up being way cheaper and uh, it ends up looking kind of cool too. So I might take inspiration from that and, uh, and maybe do that in this area. I don't know yet. Depends on how the crops and stuff are looking because a lot of these crops are going to get moved, right? Like pretty much this one's gone, this one's gone, this one's gone, and this one's gone. And probably what I'll do is reset them all and then line them up a little bit more favorably in this space to cater crops to this uh, this farm here. And then most of our food and stuff is going to be coming from, like again, like I said, like tons and tons of fields over there. Uh, all right. Back to the matter at hand, though, is that this rail is going to be coming around this way. Okay. With this scooted back, I can now get... I need to make sure that it can actually hit it, though. Uh, so you are going to go out this way. And we're going to have you come all the way out and connect here. Yep. So that is going to be the source in which this station will draw from to deliver fuel. We also need fuel to be dropped off here too, potentially, if we're making fuel somewhere else in the Republic. And I'm not going to do this yet because we can always do it later. But if we're making fuel somewhere else in the Republic, it can obviously be brought to here if we're maybe running short. The Charlevinsk is going to be a large area. And so we want to be able to drop it off as well to get it accessible. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space over on this side so that I have enough room for like one of these tanks. And then if we're going to drop off fuel to like help this area, we could do it with one of these tanks. But I could also maybe potentially even redirect the supply. So I would be able to come over like this and just pop it into this side. That's what I was hoping to do. Uh, it does say the infrastructure is in the way, but it also says it's too long right there too. So if I wanted that to be an option, that would be a problem. But that's not right there and all of a sudden using this becomes all of a sudden using that pump becomes smart so there we go i could just pop it right into there if i wanted to it's an option now that i know this is in the right place though i can kind of just sort of leave that the way it is i can prompt it to be built too i guess um leave this all the way it is and then talk about this rail here so with this slaughterhouse here the slaughterhouse is going to, you know, produce meat. So we need meat storage. And I want a big one. And I think I want forklifts here. Because I want more than one meat storage. So forklifts is going to pull the meat out and bring it to these little storages. And so to get that done, I would probably want to have, let's say, one meat storage could be... Uh, let's go with here. And maybe here. That, sh that should be fine, I think. Uh, no, because we, we want ex accessibility with the forklifts, correct. Uh, so let's, yeah, big meat storage. So forklifts would be connected to you. Go out this direction. So actually it looks like it would be more... Uh, okay, I think I got it. Sometimes you got to figure out like in your head how everything is going to just situate so that it doesn't interfere with each other. Because you need these buildings to not get in the way. You can't cross roads. At least vanilla. We're playing vanilla here. Uh, in vanilla, you, you cannot cross the, the roads and the factory connections. Okay. So let's flip this over. Yep, there we go. And we're going to put this right about here. Or is it the other direction? I actually think it might be this way. I know. I'm, I'm not indecisive, okay? We're making decisions. It's different. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just going to keep using that as my excuse for how how this works out. All right. So from there. No. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, the answer was actually pretty damn obvious. <laughs> just have these roads go out of here. You don't even need to worry about it. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll take the train station once again right here and we'll just connect all of them like so there's our train station and then the road is going to come out this way and then around like so 
Yep, that's how those things get connected to the roads. Maybe we should maybe actually do it though. Connected and connected. Here we go. And you are going to be, uh, I'm going to come in the same road there, connected. And then you come out this direction and we'll connect you there. Okay, train station's hooked up. Of course, this is going to be picking up crops. It could potentially do that, or it could just pick up the, the meat. It's distribution network. They can decide, you know, the train distribution center will decide how it wants to come over here uh, and for what purpose. But this gives me uh, a lot of space for additional livestock to come in and then the meat production. The last step to this process then is the water. Where's the water coming from? Each one of these livestock farms requires 93% water quality. If you don't provide them with 93%, then they won't work. Here's why 93% is really interesting. Because you can actually get 93% straight up with a big water well. You can get up to 95%. If you place these water well spots, these little green dots everywhere. If you place this in an area where nothing else is, you're going to have 95%. If you place it close to anything else, here's the, here's the mine, for example, it starts to drop. Close to the roads, I think, is fine. But close to farms, not so good. Okay? So basically anything can take the water quality down. All right. So we want to place this in a location where we're not going to build anything in this radius. In its radius and i'm thinking like over here would be pretty good but remember this building this big water well it requires workers okay seven workers the small one however requires no workers at all downsides it's going to use more power to use more of these small wells plus side we can always pump everything into switches and combine the feeds and we could do so only with power we don't need people so what i think i'm going to do is I'm going to use three small wells because they don't need workers. I'll just provide power to them and it will feed water into this area. You can also pr bring in a reservoir or some kind of like water tower or something and uh, have an overflow to where if there is extra and there may be a little bit, it's just 215. And if we took three of these together, it's 210. Okay. So it's almost the same to have three of these small ones or one big one. The difference though, is that three small ones will use more power. It just doesn't take as many workers, all right? So that's what we're on about. It's also going to cost me more resources to build three small ones. So efficiency sake, it's better to build one of these. Now, we could also do the surface outflow. That's possible as well. And if we did so, we could do it from right over here. That is not bad. But I believe the surface outflow is a smaller quality. Everything starts at like 70 something, right? I know people will tell me to use this but I'm pretty sure it's like 77%. Yeah, there it is. So not going to get us the 93 we're looking for. Okay. So we're going to say the small water well, I'm going to place one of them over here like this. I think that's just probably pretty safe. I'm not going to build anything over here. Let's just go really safe with it. Say right, right here. One, then we need to get out of the other wells way. So we'll go about here, I guess. Two. And then maybe across the road over here, let's say three. I don't know if making better quality roads is going to matter. It doesn't look like the higher quality roads have, a, have an effect on it. Okay, good. So we're going to say we want another well to be maybe right over like so. So these three wells are going to provide all the water we need for our livestock. We're not going to build all of them right now, but we can build two of them, I think. Maybe the third one will just chill for a bit. Okay. And then we'll power these things with renewable power, which is the next thing I want to research is renewable energy sources. So there we go. And then also it looks like we have radio broadcast influence research available. So initially we can have our radio station, right? It can do its thing. But in order to actually influence people and raise their loyalty, we need this. So... There's really not a whole lot of point to having a radio station if you're not going to use influence. So we're going to do that. And uh, once we get all these guys set in, we're going to want to start limiting the government loyalty of our instructors. Because if you have really high loyal instructors, then what happens is they will bring up the loyalty of, of their students. And you're also going to want to make sure that 
uh, your students. I eventually, you can make it to where your students have to be a certain loyalty in order to go to college, in order to go to the university. We don't actually have that available to us because education for most loyal citizens is also a required research. So we're going to work on that too. So renewable energy sources and our uh, broadcast influence. Those are the next research projects we're doing. Uh, let me real quick check on my train station. What do we got here? We're almost out of alcohol. So we must be shipping it out, which is pretty good. Um, clothing is down a lot. Where's my train? You. What do you got on you? Okay. That's pretty good, but I think I'm going to stop you from taking clothes. And I might stop you from taking everything, to be honest. We might just have you sit out for a second so the train route what we have going on with this thing is it loads 40 percent full of crops on its way back i think this was my happy medium because we are starting to harvest and i don't want everything to get super full so it's going to start doing that i think uh if i take a look at this it's pretty full and then this has yeah pretty full and then these trucks are constantly delivering it to the train station as well dropping it off in a variety of different sources so we, we do see these storages for crops being full pretty consistently. We will want to eventually get this operational. And uh, what I'll probably do, because this is meant for the crop train, uh, which would be very long. Did I, did I mention that? It's going to be very long. It's not going to stop here. If you, you know, if we're going to have a train that's like this long, right? Well, okay. So it's actually going to measure this long from this point to this point. That's how long that train will be. All right. And it's like that so that it can get in here and turn around and immediately be here when it turns around and then get onto the correct track that it wants to get onto. Um, if we need a train, like if we don't have the logistics to pump out crops as fast as we need to and we need another train for some reason, we'll just get a second train instead of making this one longer. And, uh, and that way they can pass by each other on this crop train route. Initially, we're only going to build one of these tracks. I'm laying in the plans for two of them, but only one of them will be built at first. And uh, it'll probably be, yeah, it's going to be this side right here, which is already marked to construct. So we're not going to build this side initially, just this side. Uh, but it's going to come in through this way first to drop off its crops into here first. Then anything extra it has, it'll turn around. And because it's a long train, it's going to block roads. But it's going to turn around and drop them off second here, which means its tail will be on this side. And the only road that gets blocked is this little gravel one right here. And that's not a big deal. Okay, it's the end of the month, and uh, we've actually had power really stable this entire time. So I am loving having these guys from prison coming over here and working in my power stations. I think that's been, been fantastic uh, with those two things. So I want to go in and take a look really quick and see what our power... Oh, it switched to October. Okay, uh, September. Uh, power exports, 17,000. Now, I know that's not bitumen, okay? But, hey... You don't have to actually send it to the border. You don't have to truck it there. And with research with a pipeline, we won't have to truck our fuel or bitumen either. We can just build a really expensive pipe and then never have to think about taking it to the border again. Which I think will be pretty cool. Eventually. Hello, train. I don't think I want you to take... Yeah, I don't think I want you to take clothing anymore. Um, we're going to say that I don't want you to load clothing... And let's bring it down to 20%. And how about you... Let's go down to 10%, which is food and alcohol, and that's it. So we're not going to make as much on this. But I do want you to wait until you're unloaded with crops first. So we need you to be unloaded first. Make sure you're not taking crops back to the border. Uh, and then from the large customs house... Yeah, we'll go down to 30% here for now. Because I think we're maybe having to wait too long to unload this... Yeah, it's not going to wait until the crops are gone. Darn. Well, it is what it is. But look, they can build the train tracks and not get in the way of the other track. Which is great. I'm thinking you're almost done, aren't you? you got to be getting real close to being completely done with the rails. Oh, this is wood. Ah, oh, this is wood too. Uh, well, I, I don't think it matters. Like, you're going really fast until this point, And then at this point, you're... You're going to be coming in here anyway. I don't think it really matters too much. And uh, now I'm going to let him finish it. If we want to remake it later, then fine. But I don't really care. That's such a short distance anyway. Plus, if you didn't know this, right? These these tracks here, right? 
They're 70 kilometers instead of 100 kilometers per hour, okay? But the trains don't just like all of a sudden slow down. So if they're going 100 kilometers per hour through here and they merge onto this train track, they're not just gonna like all of a sudden be going 70. All they're gonna do is come to a coast and they're gonna work their way down to 70 as they go. And I don't really think there's enough space there for them to fully get down to speed before they actually have to stop anyway. So, like, again, I think we're just gonna let that be. And I think, I think maybe this is, yeah, this is marked for steel. So I'm gonna take this and make this be a different, we're gonna demolish this one. And just have you be the wooden track, okay? Uh, hang on, let's make sure that you are snapping. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna let that be the wooden track. All right, I don't care. Let it be. And then we're gonna have to start getting uh, going on our passenger rails and stuff. So I'm gonna start getting this stuff built out too so we can get, start getting these train tracks moving. And then uh, again, we're still working our way out to steel. I do wanna talk about steel. Um, I think we're gonna make this the next video. We're gonna talk about the steel industry in the next video here. Taking a look at the budget and the debt and everything, uh, things are great. Things are going well. 1.4 million in debt. Let's go ahead and kill this debt a little bit. We're gonna go down to 1.1 here. That's fine. And then uh, we're gonna take this away. We're gonna say uh, 1, 3, 9, 4, 9, 2, 6. That leaves us with 36 grand in the bank and just over a million in debt. Me likey. Me not likey, this. <laughs> We're getting workers delivered here, but not resources. Well, not as fast. This really is going very slowly. Um, is it because of... You know what? We have lots of bricks, but I bet you we don't have any boards. Yeah, we don't have any boards. So we, uh, we ran out of trees. I've kind of built nearby where my woodcutting post is supposed to be, right? And uh, kind of ran out of trees. There's not a whole lot of places. So I had to plant new trees. And all of these trees are just too young to cut down. So at the moment, we don't have any boards. Kind of sold. Sold too many of them. I'm not sure why there's steel sitting in here. That's a little weird how these tiny little pieces of something get stuck in here. But uh, regardless, most of this should be boards when we're done. And uh, yeah, you should be barely filling up. And uh, seriously, wait until unloaded is supposed to be a thing. But it doesn't seem to... If I do this... Are you just going to take off before you're unloaded? So this is like serving as extra storage, is what the intended purpose was. Pretty much done on prefab panels, too. Maybe we should get started on cement. 5.6 thousand people. We really do need more quarried stone to be delivered here. Is there something wrong with quarried stone? You know what it might be? No, we have this truck here. We just have a lot of people that can process it. We're just processing it very fast. Yeah, we just need another truck to do this. Uh-huh. Yeah, I need the other quarry. All right, we're going to build... We're going to buy... Sorry, buy another excavator. And uh, I'm not sure... Somebody was leaving me a comment telling me that I should buy the better one before it goes away. But, I mean, is this the better one? Is this what you're, is this what you're on about here? I don't remember having. I don't think it really matters, does it? I mean, all right, I'll buy one of them. I don't. I don't think it really matters, but I'll buy one of them, and then uh, we're gonna get another. Where is it? I have another truck. You, who's bringing coal ore from the border. No, you're not. Not anymore, you're not. You are going to work here now. Nope. You don't. That's not how that works. You're going to work here. That's right. And you're going to load the quarried stone and drop it off right here. That's what you're doing now. And unloaded. Yep. Alright. Good. That'll get that dump truck doing a better job. I don't think we need the coal ore coming from the border anymore. Not really. 
Speaking of things we don't need anymore. Well, we do need this. We need people to work here because this is full. And so our garbage is starting to pile up. And so I think it's time because we have all this burnable stuff. I think it's time to get start getting more people in here. Uh, so let's see. Let me find this bus stop that I messed up with, which can no longer reach that building. We're going to need this done. The cableway appears to be mostly built. We dedicated a lot of steel to this, and that's why we're probably out of steel or pretty close to it anyway. Uh, we got a couple of posts left here. This one is... Yep, this one's good, but this one's not yet. And it's almost all the way out to here. Yep, so we just got a little bit more work to do there. I think we're going to take the 62,000 that I have. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go to the depot really quick. Let's bring this train back. I think it's time for ju to just put the open hull parts, the open hull cars, whatever, open cars. I'm just going to put them on the train. We don't... It's going to be a mixed train, and I think that's going to have to be fine. So I'm going to place them... Well, certainly not in the middle. On the back side like this. Okay. And then we'll take this train and just let it do its thing now. But with this train... We should see... Yep. I want to take... And buy steel, I think. We're going to tell you to load steel. We're going to say 50% load. And bring steel back here. Which means I have to get you to drop off the steel. So we'll have you drop off, unload, steel. Okay. That'll give us the steel necessary to finish the cable way. And then we can go over and get to the incinerator. We got a little bit of space left. We're not like... You know, really cramped for trash, but I mean, it's still a, a definite thing that we want to take a look at and make sure we can uh, handle. Plastic waste is starting to build up a little bit too, which is cool. We're not going to necessarily need it yet, but plastic would be a great thing to start producing because it's very expensive. I think we probably don't need this. Because that's just dedicating steel to something that I don't think is necessary. And instead of that, I think what I'll do, let's pull, uh, let's pull this back and pull this back. Instead of having the storage for steel, what I think I'll do instead is we're going to add the steel recycling plant. Now, this thing costs 50 steel to build. And like, this isn't where I want this. I want this to be over in my scrapyard area later, but I'm wondering if it's worth doing it now we could connect it directly with the conveyor but that's just dedicating even more steel resources to building this when i believe anyway a garbage truck would probably be sufficient that said though with all the metal scrap that we're about to have for tearing down the piped area here so we'll tear it i'm tearing down the pipes only and then building them underground but there's a lot of metal scrap that will come from doing that and so and also this whole area, there's a lot of electrical wires and stuff that are going to have to be taken down too. So we're going to have more metal scrap. And I'd like to turn that into steel if possible. So maybe I will dedicate that 10 extra steel just to having this be automated. And we could dump this maybe right here like this. Something like that could work for a steel recycling plant. I presume that you can reach here. From here to here. 241. If you were to follow the roadways, you're probably not going to be able to reach it because of the dirt. So I might have to pave this. But if I was to, say, go like this with it, there's a lot to dedicate to something that's supposed to be temporary. But if I was to do something like this instead... Surely you'd be able to reach it then. I would say you'd definitely be able to reach this then. I'll just connect it here. Well, hi. There we go. Just connect it there. Many not even need asphalt. Maybe the gravel one would be fine. You can try gravel first. See if that's going to be uh, sufficient. 
And then, so can you walk this way and then on the gravel path all the way over to here? We'll see if that works. So the steel recycling plant, uh, 25 tons of steel for this. I don't know. That's not worth it here. I'm going to get rid of that. We're just going to keep this. And uh, I'm going to make sure that this road can still go through here. Uh, can we please? There we go. And then through like that. Make sure that road still uh, can do its thing. And then uh, from here, we need to have this road. Let's connect it to this side. Oh, really? Not allowed, for real. The walking path this way. There we go. Really? I mean, I get it. The power cables and stuff are right next to my road connection. If I'm not going to connect this with a conveyor, then I can move this. If I'm not going to connect that. So, let me just... If it's going to be something that, uh, you know, trucks have to do anyway, then I might as well move it a little bit more conveniently. Have it be like this. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm going to redo that too. Sorry. Because it's the factory connections are on this side and I need to have the availability for the factory connections too. So just, we'll take, uh, right here. There we go. And, uh, see, now you have the problem with the walking paths not being close enough again. I think it's still technically closer, though. Wow. This is, uh, really, really tricky. Put a gravel road. Unless the walking path will work. It will. You can wrap around that can even go oh we can go that way too perfect all right let's take this dirt road then we're just gonna go that way with it and cross here and then the walking path can go this direction yep and then like that all right we'll let that be a thing it's a little bit uh closer now it doesn't seem like it is but it's about the trucks the trucks are going to come in and drop it off here so instead of having to go all the way around and connect over on this side, they can now go here. That's fine with me. Uh, and then we could also get the road crews to come in and start maybe redoing some of this part. We have asphalt to here, which is cool. No, we don't. We have, I haven't done that yet. Yeah. There's a lot of nodes. That's the reason why that's not done. There's just a lot of nodes, man. A lot of these workers are going to work in here, but we need boards. You know what? That's what I should be buying right now is boards. Let's have you go back to the border, please. Drop off what you got. Go back to the border. And I would like you to now load boards instead of the steel. We have, uh, you know what? You can load steel too. That's fine. But I, I really need boards. Boards are very cheap. Let's have one load where it's basically all boards. We'll go 80% crops and boards here. We have so many crops on the train right now. Which is okay. We're going to need them. See, food is, is dwindling fast. So I'm going to need even more people to work food. That's what this building is for. Once we get these done, right? Is for working food. So if we can get these roads done, we can start construction on the buildings. And then... Uh, this... You could probably say... You can cross here. And then if I was to... Maybe go... Trying to get it to curve sharper than this. The problem with this is it's too close to the building. If I can get it to come out like that. Hmm. Maybe just to here. That would be acceptable. That would be acceptable. That's actually all we need, really, right? Yeah, let's just do that instead. Get rid of that and that and then build that okay road crews please do these and then um we can start working on these two buildings we can get people within walking distance of the food factory you should be already be in walking distance indeed you are there's not enough people here though we're going to invite some more people in here and uh i want you guys exclusive to this you guys work at the food factory and that's all you do i need as many people over here as possible 
cranking out food because we're about to starve and I can't do it. I can't have that. I think this building also could use one more of these A30Ns. So I'm going to get another one of these. Going over here too. Okay, so what do we do today? Right? We uh, connected this. Yay. Not, not ready for that yet. We've got a plan working forward to get our own domestic meat production. If we take a look at our expenses, let's look at last month. Steel, of course, ignore steel, I think, is probably the best thing to say. Um, chemicals is an ongoing expense, so we should not discount that. But it's also intermittent. We don't buy it every month, so it's it's fine. I just, unfortunately, it's there. Uh, go back to the next previous month. So we've only bought, yeah, 11 point, 11, uh, where is it? 11 point, 11, 11 and a half tons, sorry, uh, of chemicals in the last two months. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we bought a lot of stuff. Plastics was a big import in August because we were trying to get the repair centers going. So I was importing plastic for a while. And now the repair center should have sufficient resources to do what it needs to do. I provided it with a pretty good buffer on what it needs to do. So we should see a lot of stuff there. I don't know if these places need places for like metal scrap or anything with what they do with repairs. But I kind of want to give them a dedicated storage for each one of these just in case they can separate them. Yeah, and then uh, still don't have much for construction waste either. There's like nobody working here. Maybe I should redirect one of those buses. Although with boards coming in, I, I we really should see this get, get finished with boards coming in. Where's the boards? Right over, right over here, yeah. Did you buy them? Unload. Oh, I didn't tell you to unload, shoot. Uh, unload boards. My bad. Please unload boards. <laughs> He's not going to unload them because he... Okay. Please go and unload boards. Pretty please. Yep. Now turn around and unload the boards. I've redone your... I've redone your route. No? You're not happy, huh? Pretty sure you need to go to another node in order for this to reset properly. So I'll, I'll move you to the next location. And when you get to about here, I'll turn you around. And I, I think that'll probably work. Really, this this itself is a node, I think. So the station serve as one too. So I should be able to turn it around now. I should be able to anyway. There it goes. Can you unload those boards, please? My construction crews are weeping. There we go. And they should spring to life. There you go. With these trees growing, we should at least have enough wood to start going on that again, which would be great. Uh, we'll get more workers in here. Yeah, not yet. Five is fine. We'll get like two over here to make this faster, I guess. All right, I think these are done. Yeah, these roads are completed now. So let's get these to be one-way streets now so we don't have this problem with the roundabout. So we're just gonna real quick do this. I don't need that. There we go. Yep. And then we'll have this go out like this, this, and that. And then you go this way. That should take care of all of our roundabout issues. All right. This would be easy now. Now, one of the things that will happen here, you'll notice, is that trucks will stop for other vehicles. And it's because even though you've made the roundabout, you're still having this problem, right? You don't want that. So... We need to click the intersections and tell them who needs to yield to who. And um, it basically, you just want it to be where if you're in the roundabout, you keep going no matter what. If you're in there, you, you move until you get out of there. And that generally will lead to much smoother traffic flow in your roundabouts. So that should take care of that. We shouldn't have any backups there anymore. And then I got to do the same thing over here. Most of the time, it defaults in a sensible way. But every once in a while, you'll have to tell it to, uh, to do something a little bit different than what it plans. Like in situations like this, it's gonna be fine, but it's possible that it could have messed it up. And then you just kind of move these to the right, or you can individually change these nodes. So for example, if I want uh, the concrete trucks to have the right of way, then I can go into number three and I can change it that way. But you need, with, with this type of setup though, it's gonna require you to have a set number 
So at this point, we need only two main roads. So if I wanted these guys to always have the right of way, I'd have to go into one and tell them to yield, which is in the roundabout, which is not quite what I want. But I could technically get concrete to not have to wait if I did it this way. Um, I'm mostly, again, showing this stuff for beginners to the game. We do take some times, some little intermittent times to uh, teach as well. I don't, uh, I don't just play the game monkey, okay? Nobody does. I mean, there are a lot of players that will do that. They'll play the game monkey. Um, I'm not one of those. If that's what you're looking for, I apologize, but I won't change. I'm not going to do it. All right, so that's good one-way streets. I think we could probably make this one way too. Although, is if the road isn't completed, then it's hard to, to tell it to go one way only. In this case, it works, but I wouldn't want to do it in the roundabout because then they could make the road and then not be able to get out. So I'm going to take and mark that segment and this segment. And then uh, we'll go ahead and tell the road crews to work on that as well. So slowly but surely... Our traffic system is going to get worked out. And this already has all the yields and stuff done. Uh, we need this segment here over here done too. So let's maybe get that little strip right there. I think we'll end up blocking the road. But since this is a two-way anyway, I don't think it matters. We'll do that. And then um, this little part here is probably okay. This little part right there I think is fine. Let's go in and get this. Noticing some jittering on my end so far in this game. Makes me think it's time to upgrade. <laughs> I've been contemplating it. You know, I mean, we're trying to play more complicated games. As this thing gets bigger, the Republic is going to get bigger and the game might start slowing down, right? I, I, I think I'm getting close to the point where, you know, my CPU is an 8700K. I wouldn't call it old, old. Like, it's not really old, but it's... I would I would go as far as to say, yeah, it's out of date, right? And, uh... I've been looking at those... Those new fancy AMD chips, right? I've been looking at those AM5, okay? 7800 X3D, I think is what I was looking at getting. You know? I still got a, a little bit of time to think about it, but... I kind of I want to see what Intel does at the end of the year. Because they got another, they got more announcements to make in the fall and stuff, and I kind of want to see what they're up to. So I might, I might wait for Intel to, to, you know, to respond to 7800X. Although, from what I can tell, anyway, the i9, that, uh, what is it, the 30, the 13900K. From what I can tell, that seems to be doing pretty good too. So. I could, I could, I could see myself going both ways here. Honestly, I don't, I don't really know which one's the better choice. What would you do? Leave me a comment down below. What would you do if you had, if you had the money, right? I, I, I realize it's not in, the, you know, the financial ability for everybody to do that and to upgrade to that. I'm gonna have to basically make, you know, I'm gonna have to basically do an entirely new computer. It's, you know, you have to upgrade your RAM. You have to upgrade, for AM5 you do anyway. You have to upgrade your RAM. You have to upgrade your motherboard, of course, because. I've got an 8700K. 8, There's no way that'll work. I think I'm going to get this and this to be in here, too. Get these done. And uh, let's go ahead and make this a high priority as well. I want to I want to turn this whole thing into, into asphalt. And uh, this does extend the worker buses route a little bit, but... And it really extends all bus routes a little bit, but they can get on... They can get in from this side, and the, they'll start doing that, too. Right now they can do it because uh, because they already have the route planned. But look at all those workers ready to go to work. Fantastic, isn't it? Feels very good. Let's look at uh, uranium separation, big capacity wiring. Now, wind projects. That's what we want. Wind power. And then uh, over here, favorite parking members, foreign pipeline connections. This is one thing I was very in something I was interested in. And uh, so I might take a look at that. Favorite parking members. We don't really need that yet. So I think perhaps we just turn this up to 11. Or in this case, 40. And just let more students be here, right? Let's, let's get our population up to be more educated. We're at 65% workers with higher education. And that's completely fine. We don't need everybody to have a college education. So it's good. I think the radio station will be done for next video. It's looking like it's uh, getting there. 
We just need more people in here. And if I want it to grow faster, and I do, then I can start doing stuff like this. And uh, just getting a whole bunch of people in here. Their health is going to be low because they're from the third world. But they're going to get fixed up. Don't worry. We'll bring them in as a, 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 a spurt of, uh, of new workers. Right? We're able to keep people working pretty easy now. This is up and running. Uh, not yet. This is getting close to up and running, though. And uh, I'm looking at all the posts. There's this one, of course, that needs done. Make that a high priority. It might be just out of range of their auto search there. So let's just kind of get these done. This one's not even connected to a road, so that makes sense. Let's get that connected to... Oh, did I mess that one up? Shoot. Messed that one up. This one just won't cooperate at its lowest level. So I just raised it up to one level higher, and uh, it looks like it's going to cooperate now. So cableways are all set through there, too. Good. Uh, so we'll need to mark you for construction crews as well. There we go. And just turn that up to 11. And then uh, are there any other ones that aren't done yet? This one's a uh, work in progress. You can see they've already got the foundation work laid in for it. And uh, this one, too. Yep, yep. And this one doesn't have a connection because this road isn't done. That's very odd that that road's not done yet. They must just have other things to do. Huh? You got better things to do or what? Starting to work on the passenger rail station through here too. We don't have anybody waiting here because it's closed, of course. And we're going to have to take a look at what it's going to cost us to get a train set. We are... <clears throat> I was going to say a sentence, but now I'm going to say it this way. <clears throat> we are under 1 million in debt. Oh, yes. It is now a thing. We did it. Well, I did it. But you guys came along for the ride very enthusiastically. And I appreciate you. <laughs> like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And for the next one, I think we'll have a working radio station next time. Hopefully, we'll have a working cableway. And then uh, that would lead to us being able to have the incinerator going again, which is just in the nick of time, pretty much. And then... Uh, you know, none of this stuff is... All the ash is dissipated, so it's ready for a refill. And then uh, maybe we can get the steel recycling plant going and start making our own steel, albeit incredibly slowly. But at least we'll have a place for the metal scrap. At least we'll have something to do for the metal scrap. And we can have the uh, trash people, the garbage uh, trucks, we can have this be the new home for bring metal scrap here, right? And we can start sorting metal scrap a little bit more intelligently, at least until we're ready for... Uh, this zone here to be done. The next project after the radio station is up and running there, of course, is to get uh, Cernakova set up and to get this running. And then once this is running, we'll have a lot more people um, to work the coal mine. We can get the proper prison set up over here for that too. And then once we have that many people working the coal mine, I can get this building operational and then finally this building operational and then work on getting the high... Uh, the high lines, the, the biggest capacity lines running out to the borders to have even more power exports in the future. Mm -hmm. it's, just, uh, about, it's just about scaling up as you get people, okay? So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I hope you guys will like the video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.